Romano, uh, welcome back. Congrats on the movie. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm very excited. It. It's, it's, it's nice to see you. You look good. How have you been? You been I'm okay. I'm, yeah. I'm okay. I, uh, I actually, I, I just got over COVID. I, oh. I hadn't had it. I, oh. I, I assume. Yes. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. yeah. But I got it about uh, about a month ago. Oh. And, uh, I'm happy was, you're fine. Oh, it was fine. Yeah, it was at a bad timing actually when I got it because it was my wife's birthday. My wife, um, you, you met my wife. Yeah, actually. beautiful, yeah. Yeah, she was uh, s turning 60. Is that right? So we had, a par we had a big party planned. We came into New York, and we had a restaurant uh, rented out with friends, families, w and relatives, and then I got COVID. Oh. And so two days later, the party, and she was, uh, we, we have an apartment in New York. She was walking through the elevator, and this is this will tell you how long we've been married. Yeah. I waved to her. I was in my pajamas, you know, and I just waved. I said, happy birthday. You know, and she just looked at me. I thought I would get, we're going to miss you. Yeah. Or uh, <laughs> hope you feel OK. Yeah. And, and I got this. I feel like punching you. <laughs> Not kidding. Not kidding. <laughs> I'm really punching yes, you. Yes, because she thought. Yeah. And now she's she going to go. blamed me for the COVID. <laughs> Because she probably knew deep down there was a little bit of me that was kind of happy. Happy to be home. <laughs> <laughs> you're in pajamas. Yeah. You're hanging out at home. So but you're it's not the party. true. It's not yeah. true. I'm so. Uh, yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't that bad though. Huh? So... No, no, it wasn't bad. I'm happy. I'm. I'm good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad the numbers are down. I can't. I'm. I dread if we ever have to do lockdown again. How was lockdown for you? Oh, it was terrible. It was tough. But you have two. I have two little girls. Yeah. Okay. I have four children who are grown and out of the house who came back for COVID. <laughs> came back, yeah, I have my daughters, the oldest, I have three boys. They came back, and a, a year and a half back in the house. And when they left, yes, I learned something about my kids when they left. Uh, my order of favorites has changed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> I thought it was locked in. You think it's for yeah. life, but they, four is still four, because he's horrible. That kid's horrible. <laughs> He's not going away. No, he's not going anywhere. But I did a one and three. One and three did a flip on me. <laughs> one and three. Yes, and um, for a number of reasons. Yeah. Uh, but the main one was during COVID. Now we were. At, I was at the kitchen table with number three. It was me and number three. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, Greg. Me and Greg. We gave him a name. He has oh, a good. Name, yeah. Greg. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice of you. He has a name. That's nice of you. And so it was me and Greg. And my wife was in the bathroom, and all of a sudden she starts uh, yelling from the bathroom. You know, who was just in here? Who was in there? There's pee all over the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was mad. And, and Greg looked at me, and he could see the guilt. He could see the guilt in my eyes. Yes. <laughs> and, and she's like, who was in here? And I didn't even, I didn't ask Greg to do this, but he just looked to the bathroom, and he went, it was me, Mom. He took a bullet for me. Wow. Yes. <laughs> he, that's number one. That now he's number one. That goes to number one. Moved him to number one. That's automatic. That's he, automatic number one. He jumped in a grenade for you. Yes, exactly. So we have a new number one. I'm sorry, Allie. Sorry, my <laughs> daughter. My daughter's been number one since the day she was born. And but yeah, she wasn't gonna do that for you. you know? No, no. She's smarter than the boys and she works harder than the boys. But yeah, she wouldn't have done that. She wouldn't have done that. Well, she couldn't. Technically, she couldn't have convinced my wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. I guess, by the I guess. way, by the way, yes, my wife, she knew, my wife knew it was a male who got pee all over the floor. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I went in there, it, three drops. It was three drops the most, which you have, ladies, you have to give us three drops. We get three <laughs> drops. That's the law, that's physics, that's the... <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, that's the law of bounce. It's the law of bounce. <laughs> Uh, you, you've been married. You've been married a long time. Is I it... have been married a long time. I won't even. I don't even want to say the number. It's, uh, I'll give you. Here's. I'll give you an example of how long I've been married. If the if the I want to punch you is not a good enough example. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's a better one. My son came over for dinner. Him and his girlfriend, Matt, my son, number two, number two. <laughs> <laughs> He could be one. He's got potential. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. He's got potential. He's got a he's got a ponytail that's holding him back right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I can't. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Anybody up there with a ponytail? Uh, yeah. I can't make number one can't have a ponytail. No. But um <laughs> But he came over with his girlfriend, and it was very nice. It was us. We were having dinner it was in, a, you know, the, in our house. And in the middle of it, I get a text, and I look down, and it's from my wife, who's right there. She's sitting right in front of me. Yeah. And it's just two words, chewing loud. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. At first, I thought she was talking about the girlfriend, you yeah. know? And I was like, oh, oh we're going to trash? All right. No, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, She's fun. a horse. What's, what's she doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But 35 years, actually. 35 years. 35 years married. Yeah. Right. Great. Right. Thank, Thank you. Great. 35 years yeah, how married. Long, how long are you? Uh, eight, 18. 18? Yeah. For you? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's a good, you're half, you're half, yeah, almost half. half. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. 35, It'll what is change, 35? But things will change in, in the second <laughs> half. It's great, I'm not complaining. I, I, I have a great wife, I have a great marriage, but yeah. things, things are different. <laughs> when, we have, uh, when we have sex now, my wife actually has to take off her Apple Watch because it keeps saying, time to move, <laughs> time to move. Um, have you, have you fallen? Did Have you fall? fall? <laughs> your, your pulse rate is too low. Your pulse rate <laughs> is too low. Did you fall? That, that deserved a thing. Yeah, that deserved a little <laughs> rib shot there. Uh, yes. I, I want to talk about... Uh, sorry. Oh, I'm my sorry. gosh. I'm sorry. Did you fall? Uh, can we talk about your film, your new film, Somewhere yes. in Queens? Yes. Uh, this is a big deal. You co-wrote it. You star in it. And this is your first time ever directing. I did, yeah. I did. Ray yeah. Romano. Thank you. Thank you. And, and you're getting great reviews, uh, but, but what, what is the inspiration behind this film? Um, well, it's based on what I was going through in my life. Uh, my son, my youngest son, uh, six foot, he's five, six five. I don't know if you, you ever met him, Joe. And he played on the high school basketball team. And I would go to the game. It was so exciting to have a kid who was a star of a, a basketball. And, but we knew he wasn't going to play in college. So the last game I went to, uh, I, I went down on the court, I hugged the coach, and I got emotional because I was going to miss this with my son. Um, and if I'm being honest, I was going to miss being the father, you know, get, getting the attention. It's pathetic. How sad. It's so sad. <laughs> I don't get enough attention. I, I, you know, I, I, I'm on TV or whatever. I got to get more attention. <laughs> right, right. But I just, I just thought, what if that was a guy, a poor guy, who that's all he had in his life? He felt very small, you know, this working class guy, and uh, that's all he had. He lived vicariously through his son. So that was the, the origin of the story. And my, my agent convinced me to direct it. I didn't want to direct it, but he said it was too personal a story. Um, but it worked. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah, it scared the hell out of me, but I did it. You yeah. did it, buddy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I want to show a clip. Uh, do, you want, do you want to set the uh, clip up? Uh, the clip is when my... So my son is an introverted kid who doesn't say much. He's shy. He's never had a girlfriend. And w after the game, we're meeting this girl for the first time uh, with my wife, who's a typical overprotective Italian mother, and this is it. There you go. Here's Ray Romano in Somewhere in Queens. Check it out. It was really nice to finally meet you guys. No thanks to this one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wait, come here. <laughs> oh. Okay, go. Oh, man. Come to dinner Sunday. Ma, she don't I want would to... love to. I love Italian food. Okay, Sunday, 12 o'clock. Dinner at 12. I, I love it. I'll be there. Thank you. <laughs> now take me to work, oh. boy. You want me to get fired? <laughs> Wait, I'm slipping. Kind of heavy. Hi. Do not <laughs> like her. <laughs> To the delivery right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ray Romano, everybody, somewhere in Queens. Opens in theaters tomorrow. Congratulations, buddy. It. Apple Watch, that's the best. Right. Zoe Lister Jones joins us after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.